two, three, start. Dagara, start ho gaya. Hi there. So I am making the tutorial for my app Apple U for KLWP. This has been long overdue, but now I got the time to make it. So let's get started. I hope you have already set up your KLWP app. If not, you need to do one thing inside that. Go under settings, app settings. Then in general settings, you can see main storage. So here your main storage should be inside your internal storage and in uh, should not be in any of the folders. So just go to your internal storage like that. You can see there is a folder named custom. This should be your default folder. Otherwise the wallpapers will not work and you will have to edit the uh, code values under the global variables. So I hope you have done that now. You go into the descriptions, you will find a Google Drive link. You open that. These are the wallpapers that you need to transfer in your internal storage. You can use your own wallpapers. We'll get into that in a minute. So here you just need to download. This will show something like this, then download anyway, because I have already downloaded it. So I will not download it again. You can go under the download section. Here is. So here I'm using explore app. You can use the default file manager files. You need to find this vault.zip file. Tap and hold on wall. Then you can extract. Extract it inside your custom folder here. I have already extracted it as you can see. If you have done that, now open your app. You need to install KLWP Pro, otherwise the preset will not import go under widgets then open the app so the wallpapers will be loaded if everything you have done till now is on the point if this, this is still not working then you can try one more thing go under the global variables global then bg image and fg image it is the formula which imports the images from your internal storage into the preset so if this does not work for you then you can try to add storage slash emulated slash zero slash because if you see this is the default location of your internal storage storage slash emulated slash zero so either of these two should work for you now in this app there are a lot of customization that you can do we will see one by one in the edit menu you can choose dark icons or not, dock icons or not. You can on or off music widget. You can on or off calendar or weather. Then you can also change wallpapers one by one, whichever you want. Then you can just let it be or the wallpaper changes after midnight. So it is like a daily wallpaper. Then you can change widget radius. If you tap on that, it will start increasing the radius and then it can reduce the radius as well then bottom margin suppose you are using hand gestures for your navigation or if you are using buttons then you can accordingly change the bottom margin right now if these customizations are not enough for you then you can go under the global section there are global variables this is the widget radius you can manually change from here this is the font if you want to change the font of clock or anything inside the wallpaper app you can just pick your own font you can import your font then colors by default it picks the colors from your wallpaper so if i change the wallpaper then it will pick the colors from that wallpaper but if you want to change the accent there are two accents one is the brighter one one is the darker one so if you want to change the value or saturation, you can do so under this menu. It will update live saturation as well by the increment of tens or you can just manually set the value. 
we go back we check the accent too you can also change that well this glass one is just the background transparency of the widgets you don't want to interfere with that and one more thing if you don't like uh, the color of these icons in the dark mode or in the bright mode then you can toggle them alternatively so these dog pg and dog ic are those variables you just go in there change 0 to 1 and in the other one change 1 to 0 so it is if the system mode is dark then the color will be bright or the system mode is bright then the color will be dark now go back next wall is the variable it assigns a variable to change the next wall after the midnight images you don't need to interfere with that if you want to add your own images let's see in the files under wall there is a folder one you can create a folder new oh we are inside the zip i will just go into the custom directory custom then wall now you can create a new folder name it 2 now just like the one folder it has bg and fg images one will be in the background then your clock will come and then one will be in the foreground to show the depth effect so you need to create both the folders here new folder small fg new folder small bg now you will have to manually take out the images and remove the background you can use any of the online tools you can use photoshop you can even do in your phone then put the background images with the serial numbers 1 2 3 4 for whatever number of images you have and then their respective fg image in the FB, fg folder one bg image respecting to the one fg image so their name should match otherwise it will show a different foreground image for that as you can see for example in one i have bg images from i will just sort them yeah hmm. so 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 20 21 22 and these images should respective or uh, should be respective to their background alternative if you see this image does not have any background because it will be shown on the foreground so inside my storage I will go into another file manager yeah plans you can just copy these inside your custom folder wall copy right so i have some of the images of my own inside wall i'll just remove this dummy folder and rename it back because while we were copying there were two folders of name two so it renamed it to bracket one yeah so it has some of the images from my other app now let's go back to the klwp inside the preset under global variables inside images now for example you are using folder name 2 for your images you just need to select folder 2 now another variable is how many how many images are there in that folder by default it is 30 because in folder 1 there are 30 images and after 30 it resets back to 1 but if your folder does not have 30 images then it's gonna be a problem after the last image in your folder so check how many images you have for example here I have I think 20 images this is the last one so I will change the variable to 20 now after 20 it will go back to 1 let's see what other customizations we have this is for the lock screen lock screen widget position suppose you have a music widget on your lock screen or the lock icon or maybe if you are having a you know fingerprint scanner and that is coming on top of the widget so you can change the widget's position as well this is the variable for changing widget position you cannot see it i will just 
apply the wallpaper on lock screen and home screen now if I lock huh. here you can see there are two lock icons and the default lock screen widget position so if I change the position here uh, let's say 200 and 200 and lock position suppose it is 600 now save now go back to the lock screen now you can see the position of these widgets and the lock icon has been changed you can customize them accordingly according to your lock screen and even you can turn off them as well lock icon you can turn off the lock icon you can turn off the clock you can turn off these widgets as well so let's see let me save it now it only has the weather widget everything else is hidden what else do we have here so dock height is there suppose you are using uh, that by the way this is just the glitch of the arrow this will not be there once you apply it but if it is there I can uh, you can just contact me on my telegram then we can solve it mutually dock height suppose you are not you don't want to use these icons let's say I turn the dock icons off right and now I want to use the system icons so based on the system icons and position of the launcher you can just increase the bottom margin you can change the widget radius or if you try to do it here and then save it then that arrow glitch will not happen now I will reduce the dock height just a bit more yeah this should work now you can also change the widget radius because the icons I'm using are completely round so why not the dock background so let's just leave it as round as well I think this, this looks nice I will try to add more icons I will add telegram I can add uh, Netflix let's say yeah so these icons and the background will match perfectly just need to tinker it a little bit now dock icon is there expand music you don't have to mess with all these settings and then there is animation scale in the end suppose you want the animations to be slower then you can change it 10 or even increase it by adding the value now if you go on the home screen now these animations will be really slow but if you want them to be quick then you can reduce them suppose I will use 4 now these are quick so based on your preferences you can change a lot in this you can even add your own wallpapers and if you are having this arrow glitch then it is better to customize it here and then save it then it will work because in some of the phones it is happening uh, like if you change the bottom margin because this will not update the location of some of the icons it is a KLWP bug then it's better to just use it here and then save I think all of the features are covered if you have any problem then you can contact me on my telegram I will leave the link in the description so yeah have fun and if you like it please 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 leave a review on my play store it helps a lot thank you